I think I fought it. Hey you guys, what's up? So welcome back to this little quick review. Today I want to show you guys something called Cube World Zelda Sound Pack. So I was in the forums looking for something different than model packs and I came across something called a sound pack. Now what does a sound pack do? Well, it's going to replace some of the sounds from Cube World, such as the menu, such as the map sounds, all of those other things like coin droppings and all that great stuff. And since Cube World doesn't have music, there isn't really anything fancy yet, such as music's implemented and all that stuff. Now one day, Cube World will finally have music, that's what I heard from the creator itself, there might be music added in, which will be awesome. Therefore, people are going to be able to overwrite those musics and add in their very own custom music into Cube World, and those will be really cool sounds. Sound packs. So anyways guys, how about I show you guys this really quick sound pack review. It's only going to be covering one sound pack, it's not really going to be a long video, so how about we begin this? Alrighty guys, how about we begin this? First off, I'm going to be selecting a character and choosing a world, and right when I select the world, you can hear the sound effect that has been overwritten in Cube World. When you defeat a monster, and when he happens to drop himself some coins, you will hear a new little ring that comes from the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Ruby sound. When you open up the map, it sounds like the options menu in the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Once again, here is the sound effect that you get when you get yourself a coin from a monster. <laughs> One of my favorite features is when you open up the menu. Look at this. You hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is the best one. When you pick up items and you place it around your inventory, that is the best sound ever. Even the sound effects from eating and drinking has been replaced as well. So how about we eat this? This is the sound effect that you get when you recover your hearts from the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now the creator did say that the bomb has been replaced with a new sound effect, but when I blew up the bomb... NOTHING! I was really sad! <laughs> now guys, the first thing I tested out when I was trying out this music pack was the death animation or the death sound. It doesn't have one, but I really wanted it to sound like this. To be honest, I really kinda don't like the leveling up sound effect. So yeah guys, that right there was the leveling up sound from the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I believe that the creator ripped all of the uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess sounds and just placed it all in a sound pack. It would be really cool if he just went to other games from the Legend of Zelda like the Wind Waker and all that stuff to get different sounds because he's just sticking to Twilight Princess right now. And I didn't like the leveling up sound in my opinion because it didn't really, you know, sound great. Anyways guys, that is all of the sound packs or all of the sounds from the sound pack. It's still in development. Uh, you know, Cube World's in alpha, and having something like this is pretty awesome. Changing the sounds, really cool. Anyways, guys, if you guys are interested in wanting to know how to install this sound pack in particular, well then, how about we go ahead and show you how to install this sound pack. Thank you guys for watching, it was a really short video, I know that, but when do I ever upload a very short video, you know what I mean? My short reviews are pretty rare because all my reviews are like 12 minutes long. And having to review something super tiny, I don't know, it, it's quite different. It's like I'm not reviewing all of it, or there's not much to review left. Anyways guys, how about we just install this? Thank you for watching. So let's go ahead and install this sound pack. Installing sound packs are super simple and all it is is just a data replacement file. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. It's very simple. So first off, what you guys are going to do is go into my description or click on the annotation above this video where you're going to go and download the Legend of Zelda sound pack zip. So here it is. It says mod CW Legend of Zelda right there. So links in description. So if you guys want the download. Anyways, once you get the download, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And once you are ready to install this, let's go ahead and begin. Go down here to the bottom left corner of your screen and click on start. You're going to go here to computer. So click start computer. What we're doing is we're going to be locating our files of Cube World. 
So go to start computer, go to local C, then go down here to program files x86, open that up, and go here to cube world, double click cube world. So from computer, local C, uh, program files, x86, go here to cube world, there you are, now you're here. What you're going to do now is you're going to open up the Legend of Zelda sound pack, double click that. Alrighty, so here's in everything inside the zip, you can read the info for more instructions, but what you're really going to do is you're going to simply drag over this data2.db and drag it simply into the cube world folder. What it's going to be doing is it's going to be replacing this data2 file right there. So drag it into the cube world folder, wait a little bit, now it's going to say move and replace, just say OK, and there you go. Now that you replace this file called data2, now the sounds from uh, this data2 is going to be uh, changed and overwrite the data2 of old cube world. So what, once you do all that, go ahead and exit off everything, and what you're going to do is run this, dot, uh, this cube application, which is uh, cube.exe. So run this application to launch cube world. Do not run cube launcher. Run the cube application, and there you go. So right when you open it up, you're going to be able to hear the first Legend of Zelda sound, which is the main menu sound. And once you have done that, you went ahead and installed the Legend of Zelda sound pack. There you have it. It's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and exit off my game. And another thing is, if you want to uh, remove the Legend of Zelda sounds, go ahead and run the original application, which is called Cube World Application. Double click that. And you have to log in with your email and password. And that will download the latest data files and all that stuff, and it will be overriding all your old ones, so you could remove the Legend of Zelda sounds and all of your, you know, model packs that you have installed. Anyways, guys, that is basically it. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this tutorial. If it helped you out, be be sure to like, leave a like, hit that like button if you guys want to see more tutorials and more all that other stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.